All right, it's Daniel Murphy, and we're looking at this mulberry tree. Got quite a bit of lean out. This one's got some trees behind it, so it doesn't lean quite so far. And this one's got all those big reaching branches that are now drooping down for the ground, looking for more sunlight over there. And what do we have here in the main branch unions here? We got big issues. So clearly, there's major decay. This looks old. You know, a good bit of rot in there. And then that thing started healing over. It split a while ago. Then it started callousing over here. And now it split again, opened up again. So that opened up an inch, inch and a half. And extrapolate that out to those branch tips. They moved a couple of feet probably. And just about pulled this whole thing off here. So it's ready to go. Good news is there's nothing but lawn underneath it. If you were trying to preserve the tree, you would want to start taking a bunch of weight off the end of this branch. And you see this, this upright right here, that one that's going straight up? That could actually, with a mulberry, that could be the end of the branch at this point. That could be the new terminal growth. Right up there, and then take that whole end of that branch off, and you'd never have to worry about this failing down here. Just would not be an issue. But then, of course, what happened on the other side? That thing already split out, ripped out, and has been cut off. And then this piece is nice and heavy, so this one's, you know, looks like it's actually a little more secure than this guy over here, but still, it's getting heavy and it's just gonna outgrow its ability to hold itself up. Mulberry around here only gets so big, and this is about as big as they get before they start falling apart. And being a fruit tree, it's just amazing how hard you can hit a mulberry, and they come right back. They don't seem to mind a super, super heavy hit. So, like, you could take easily take both those lower branches off there, leave that upright, and it, it'll be fine. So, Daniel Murphy, thanks for checking in. Just another hazardous tree evaluation. What do you think?